Hello everyone, how are you today? My name is Vasiliki and I am a Baton Facilitator at RTI. As some of you might remember from the previous videos, together we are reading storybooks. So today's storybook is Hattipek. Hattipek is written and illustrated by Emma Levy. This is a really powerful story and it's about... You guessed it well, a chicken. Hattipek was facing a problem and she was feeling really sad. But she didn't want to give up. She was determined to search and find solutions. So, I invite you to take a comfortable position and let's go through the story together. Try to spot what was Hattipek's problem and what solutions did she find. Was she happy at the end? Let's see. Hattipek had only ever laid one egg and it had never hatched. Poor Hattie, she simply loved eggs. They were all she thought about and all she dreamed about. Eggs, eggs, eggs. No egg was too big and no egg was too small. Hattie Peck loved them all. But all she wanted was an egg of her own. So Hattie Peck had a thought. If she couldn't lay an egg, she'd find one. In fact, she'd find lots. So she plucked herself up and decided to venture away beyond her coop. And she decided to embark on a journey in search of all the abandoned eggs. Hattie clambered over rooftops, gently guiding precious little legs down the gutters so as not to crack them. Hattie Peck soared over gigantic cities. The mere thought of heights made Hattie shudder. But she would do anything in search of her treasured eggs. Hattie battled blazing fires and blustery winds, pouring rain and really heavy snow, all to find eggs. Eggs, eggs. And finally she found them. Hattipek decided it was time to return her colossal clutch back to the coop. What a tremendous task. Hattie was sitting on them. But Hattie didn't mind. She was happy. Days and even weeks went by until finally... Crack! 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 The hatching had begun! Oh, look! Hattie Peck made the perfect mum! So that was the end of our story. We saw Hattie Peck having achieved her target. She had to walk on the roofs and walk in the rain but at the end she managed to be happy and surrounded by love well maybe all she went through was worth it don't you think so if you liked this story and you want to read together more stories like that you can visit rti's website page facebook or youtube channel more videos will follow and more amazing stories will come. Till then, have a nice day.